Jesse Reed here with Drop Out Entertainment. We're here with Angela Staney. How are you doing? I am great. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Excellent. Uh, you just finished the showcase here at the HMV. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it was a blast. It was fun. We uh, rocked and rolled. Uh, it was a little different because, you know, it's like an acoustic kind of vibe. We had the stand-up bass. Uh, I guess you saw that. There's <laughs> footage of that. It was fun. Good time. My first time here at the Superstore. Again, you're, uh, you're promoting your new album, Cake and Cows, mm -hmm. which is that's your first, your first solo album. That's right. How is it? Uh, how is it different for you? You know, recording with the band as opposed to doing your own solo thing. Uh, well, it's kind of the same in a lot of ways because um, I didn't play all the parts, so they're like the band at the time called the Residents. Um, they play and do a lot of things on that record. Uh, it is a little bit different in the sense that um, it's all about me. They're all my songs. I mean, I've played in bands uh, for many, like a long time, since I was 15. I've been playing in bands. I've toured a lot and done a lot of things in the rock genre a little bit more. And being in a band situation, you, you do a lot more compromising and a little bit more co-writing. And that's always not a bad thing. It's awesome. Um, and I was definitely the main songwriter most of the time, but it's like, this is all everything I want to hear or what I hear. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? Like. It's all about me. It's all about me. Sounds so selfish. <laughs> selfish. Uh, you got to do some work with uh, Johnny Fay from the Tragically Hip. Mm, That's yeah. something not a lot of writers get to uh, experience. That's funny because um, this kind of all started because of him in some ways. I mean, I, I uh, was planning to do this solo record um, in the meantime being in the band Drive Faster. And this was all like culminating, and uh, I'm my good friend Mo Burke, who also plays on the, on the record a bit. Um, he was we were thinking like he might produce it or what you know while I was planning it. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And uh, I met Johnny uh, at a show. I I know him for a little while, and he mentioned to me like, oh, I've got this amazing recording uh, equipment and stuff. So we we anyway we had a whole probably like eight or nine months of recording in the studio and we did a bunch of demos and it's just like a project. We played a show uh, live with him and kind of like we were on a break so he had some time and he's an awesome, awesome guy. I can't say enough amazing things about Johnny. He's a fantastic drummer and uh, yeah, we're just friends. We, we write a little and um, then yeah, the state, Johnny's a busy guy and so uh, I do owe him a lot for like, in the sense, all the demos for most of the songs that are on the record, we did a lot of demos with him um, for, a, for a while. And then uh, Tony Gare is the producer of the record, and we kind of did half in studio, half home studio, and took our time. That's the biggest thing. I was able to take as long as I wanted to finish it. Which is nice. There was no rush to it. Well, there was no rush. Because, yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, oh, what about keys here? What about, you know, a little bit of this here? What about a loose here? What about more, some more harmonies? And that, you can do that because you're not, you're not on the clock. Well, you're kind of on the clock. You're always a little off the clock, but you have more freedom. And with bands I've been in before, like you still can do that if you do it yourself, and you're not paying, you know, like a thousand dollars a day, kind of thing. So you have less time. That's all. Yeah, freedom. <laughs> Everybody loves freedom. Yeah, uh, great song about it. <laughs> You, uh, you recently finished that tour, which you did with Via Rail. Yeah! Which uh, a lot of people don't even know how to do that. Could you explain a little bit about that? So Via Rail is an amazing company. Amazing. They support Canadian artists, Canadian music. It's uh, a great program called the Onboard Entertainment Program. And in exchange for my fare uh, to go out to Vancouver, I played two sets a day uh, for the passengers. I was able to sell my CD. I made a lot of friends. It was a blast. Um, it was like That was actually the funnest part of my tour, which I didn't expect. Um, I had a great time, all the shows I had played in BC and Alberta, and I, um, I basically did all of BC, I went to the island, uh, I'm from Alberta, so I did a bunch in, in Alberta as well, and uh, hopped back on the train, went back, which is here now, <laughs> Young Street, right there, right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you're mentioning you're from Calgary, and uh, I saw that when you were when you went through Calgary, you actually sold out your show. That was How did the, that feel? Yeah, that was the first yeah. sold out show I've ever played, like at least any time recently that I can remember. Um, that was great. It was with another artist uh, named Amy Thiessen, who's fantastic. Um, she had a lot to do with that, I'm sure. She's so she's a great artist. You should check her out too. Um, that was that was cool though, but a lot of friends didn't get in. And so when you're not, you know, you're from a place, and I don't live there anymore, and it's like sometimes that's the only way I can see people that I know is they come to my show, and then they could get in, and it was really 
feel really bad about it. Fight tickets ahead of time. Note to self, Ironwood Stage Grill, amazing venue, um, sometimes sold out, so you might want to plan. Make a reservation. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any exciting uh, train stories for us? Um, nothing crazy that happened. The hardest thing is like to play on a train because I stand. I'm not a sitter when I play. So, like, this train's moving. Like, I, it didn't, I didn't think of that when I signed up for this, but I actually had this stance. Like, I had to stand like this because I was constantly, because it's shaped, you know, you see people doing this a lot. Like, it's, it's a moving train. Um, taking a shower, it's very difficult. That's actually harder than playing. No, it's very hard because I didn't get on the details, but you're, it's a moving train. Yeah. You're probably a pro by the end of the tour, though. It, I had train legs. I was in Vancouver, two days of train legs. He likes, like, sea legs, what they call sea legs. And uh, my girlfriend, who I stayed with in Vancouver, I was, uh, apparently, I was kind of, like, doing this. And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, well, it's just moving. It's just moving. Yeah, I got used to those. Yeah. It's nice. I love the train. Via Rail's amazing. Govia. Govia. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, since we're in HMV, I've got a question about CDs for you. A lot of people are quite pessimistic about their future and, uh, you know, hard recording. So what's, your, what's your opinion on that? Um, I don't have an opinion, but I do can talk for myself. I don't buy a lot of CDs, personally. Um, I moved, and I was like, I have a crap ton of CDs, and I got rid of a lot of them. I, because what I did was I ripped them, I put them on my iPod or my phone. I don't have a stereo. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be pessimistic. I think a lot of people buy CDs, and I can tell you that because they buy my CDs, so I know that people are buying CDs. Personally, um, I don't buy a lot of CDs, so I, when I made this record, I was kind of like, how many CDs do I need to make? Um, with my old band, this is my sixth actual record like that I've ever made, uh, but with other bands or whatever. And I've, in my history, I've sold a lot of records, but you see that taper off, like even with my last recording with Drive Faster, like you just don't sell as many. They, they, the most CDs that get sold are off the stage. Other than like people that buy CDs. And then I talk to my friends, they're like, what do you mean, you know, my CDs? I buy CDs like twice a month, and it's like awesome. There's so much hope for the music industry. I'm totally, I'm just like a digital person, so I go to iTunes and download it. Okay, cool. Not a bad thing. <laughs> Not a bad thing. Well, thanks a lot for doing this interview. Thanks for having me. This was fun. If you guys want to hear more of Angela Saini, she's got her new record out, Cakes and Calluses, and uh, you can also check out her performance on the site.